The daily images of violence in Iraq were media mainstays, in newspaper headlines and on the nightly news. But every year was a little worse than the year before, and there was a sense of shock and horror. That only can continue so long. Right up until domestic stories like the economy and the presidential campaign took center stage, and polls showed Iraq was no longer at the top of everyone's minds. That story's been in the news, and the news likes things that are new or different or unusual or unique. Friday's blasts at two Baghdad pet bazaars killed dozens. They were the deadliest attack since the troop surge began last summer. And yet the focus in Iraq has been on the Iraqi government, not the most TV-friendly of stories. The question is, uh, you know, how, how is the, the political situation in Iraq progressing? You can't get good pictures in that. It's not to say Iraq has not stayed important in American eyes. President Bush devoted a good chunk of his State of the Union address to it, but the day-to-day -day focus just may not be there. Trying to take a snapshot of this each and every minute is no longer all that constructive. Has the chief American military spokesman in Iraq seen any drop-off in attention? Well, I would, I would honestly defer to you on that one. It's, it's hard for us to have much of a sense of that here. Here at the Pentagon, Iraq is front and center most every day. With the most popular question for officials here, how soon will more American troops start heading home? Sagar Magani, The Associated Press, the Pentagon.